Well, as you know, I spent quite a bit of time here in the pre-war period. And when the invasion happened, I had friends who were in Donetsk, who were in the Ukrainian army, who were writing to us and telling us, we're not going to survive tonight. We've been hit 500 times. Uh, you know, these are graduates at Defense Language Institute. These are my friends. And, you know, as the more I saw of the war going on, the more I thought, I'm done talking. All right. It's time to take action here. So uh, about a month ago, I joined the International uh, Legion here in Ukraine, and I am here to help this country fight, you know, what essentially is a war uh, of, of, its, of ex extermination. This is an existential war, and Russia has bought it to these people, and they are mass murdering civilians. And there are people here like me who are here to do something about it. Malcolm Nance is done talking. He's had enough. He's there in Ukraine to do something about what's going on there. So, in case you get, in case you guys don't know who Malcolm Nance is, he's also now a former MSNBC analyst. Um, and as you can say, he has a good presentation voice. He knows what he's doing. He knows how to speak to an audience. There he is when he was on the MSNBC panel. He has since left and gone back to his roots because uh, he's joined the International Legion to defend Ukraine. Mm, that's crazy. So he's gone from those for that first picture to this. He also posted, and on that Twitter account, he wrote, "I'm done talking. Join the Legion. Stop Russia. Slava Ukraine." Um, this is a quick change, and actually, many that I, I I feel like I had known about his military background, but I didn't know that he was ready to go right back into the fight. So let's go to some of these uh, some of his background, his skills that are involved in what he's able to do here. So Nats previously served in the U.S. Navy. Has had more than 36 years of experience working with US intelligence. He currently sits as executive director of the Terra Asymmetrics Project. And that's a research institution dedicated to informing and advising governments to combat terrorism. And he has previously appeared on MSNBC as a counter terrorism analyst. And um, he's being for real as far as this fight that he's gonna take to folks. And he said, we really have to assist them in any way to stop this. And so I've decided to come in and assist them with the skills I have myself. They're grateful for the help. And I'm grateful to be here. I'm glad that I can help my friends, and we're gonna try to put a stop to it. Bro, um, there have been people who said they're gonna go to Ukraine and help out. Many times they're underprepared, don't know what they're gonna get themselves into, get into these groups. I did a story like maybe a month ago on this guy who then recorded outside of his experience going, don't come here, don't come here, it's a trap. They're gonna take away all of your rights. They're gonna take away any equipment you have. They're gonna give you guns with zero ammunition. It was a doomsday story. I don't know if he's experiencing something different or if he has different connections, um, but it's kind of heads. It's a it's a bit night and day versus one experience versus his. Uh, Jr. Uh, I, I would be willing to bet almost everything in my bank account that he's having a much different experience because I'm about 98% sure this dude is CIA. Uh, like he worked. <laughs> 30 years in American intelligence, that's that's all that means. Like this dude is CIA. <laughs> and so like me being who I am and how I feel about that particular government entity, non-democratic as it is, um, I, I don't really trust anything these dudes say in public. Like to just be honest, like uh -huh. I feel like what the, the role of public people, public facing intelligence officers, it's just to spread propaganda. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy he gets to cosplay as G.I. Joe <laughs> up there on TV. But like, I don't trust the CIA as far as I can spit. I tell you that much. So what is the what, what could be the usefulness though, right? Who, who knows? There? Who knows? Who knows what he's doing? But obviously the CIA is interested in mucking up whatever Russia has going on. That's always the case and that's always been the case. So who knows um, what's going on? Maybe he is legitimately fighting. I don't know, but this dude is clearly CIA. But, <laughs> <laughs> there's, but there's two parts of it. Okay, first, because my first thought, and now that you got CIA, CIA into it, I feel like there's a whole separate level. But the first thing is how much can one guy do? Like who's he working with? And we point out who he is working with, but right. what is that he can contribute that will change the, the uh, outcome? The, the, yeah, what's going on there? One man. 
Right, exactly. Like, and, and again, he's like, yeah, I'm here to fight because he's just gonna be so great at fighting. He's, you know, he, he's the black Mark Wahlberg from Shooter. Um, but I, I, I'm just like, I don't know, maybe you should be working on a diplomatic front, working towards a peace solution so we can get a ceasefire and have folks stop dying over there. But yeah, this 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 dude, like they, they tell you his resume, like he started off in naval intelligence mm-hmm. and he's worked three decades in US. American intelligence. This is not conspiracy, y'all. Like we know what that means. <laughs> I would just love to know what it is that he can do, though, and also yeah. why he would announce it so vocally. <laughs> go on TV, go on his former network, also tweet pictures of him standing there, black and white. I'm done talking. So it makes it seem very much hand-to-hand combat type of stuff. But if it comes to like intel gathering and distribution or 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 manipulation. <laughs> Why not be silent about it and just say he, he, you know, he, he took off from MSNBC. He's not doing it anymore. I'm just asking you because you have deep ties to the CIA. <laughs> what it sounds like, not ties, just knowledge. I, look, this this is the thing too that 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 people um have a hard time understanding is like because the CIA is 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 secret for our safety or whatever like they don't have to tell us what they're doing in a particular country or region. They don't have to declare their mission statement. There's no oversight over it. There's no like uh, sort of accountability, there's nothing. So when a dude who tells you he's an intelligence officer just starts spouting stuff, I don't know why I should believe it. <laughs> like there's no oversight, like you could say and do literally what you want when you work for those companies. I feel like it's kind of uh, government officials in general kind of do that. Hey, people who are running for office hey. do that in general. Uh, by the way, uh, I think someone was pointing out uh, Malcolm Nance is 61 years old. He's taking the fight to the enemy. And I'm just trying to figure out why, why you're hating on my man here. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure it out. We're, we're gonna do a deep dive next time you're on. We're gonna go ahead and expose Malcolm for the guy that he is. 